It's about 5.50 a.m. It's about 20 degrees. I'm in Cleveland and I'm moving to New York. So about six months ago, I moved back to the United States. My visa had expired and my teaching contract ended, so I figured it was a good time to move back. So for the last six months, I've been living at home in Cleveland, Ohio with mom and dad. I ultimately decided to move back to the United States to pursue a big boy job, whatever that means. The truth is that as an American, there's just a lot more opportunity for me in the United States. While I would love for this to be my big boy job, um, I'm just not there yet. So one day, maybe, but for now, I'm gonna work a job doing something else. So why New York City? Well, a number of reasons. One is that this is the place to be for what I wanna do something related to video and film production. Another reason is that it's super culturally diverse and I love that. I love being able to use my Spanish and maybe learn new languages in the future. Also, the public transportation here is arguably the best in the United States and frankly, I can't afford to buy a car. Now, if I can afford to live here, that's another story, but we're gonna find out. That is actually what this trip is for, to see if I could find housing. Well, I'm gonna need to find housing because I did get a job, but um, so far, nothing seems very promising. I've already seen two apartments so far today. Both were in Manhattan. One of them was in Harlem. The first one looked like this. The second one, I uh, didn't get a video of, but it was, it was decent. It was, it was decent, we'll put it at that. Right now I'm going to check out another one here in Brooklyn. So, there's a little bit of Brooklyn for you. It's not bad, I like the neighborhood here. There's uh, some cool bookstores and like thrift shops I saw and cafes. I mean, so far so good. So I'm looking for 686, there's 680. So I just got back from viewing my last apartment. I saw a total of four today, and now I have an overnight bus back to Cleveland to catch. I probably should have just stayed another night and tried to look at a couple more apartments, but I like to make things hard on myself. Oh, the places you'll go, and the people you'll meet at 3 a.m. at a Greyhound bus station. Not recommended. So yes, I am no longer in Spain, and I'm moving to New York City. So what does this mean for the channel? Well, as my friend Eric very eloquently put it, I'm just gonna keep milking the Spain thing for a while. No, but seriously, um, I'm just gonna keep making videos. I mean, I started this whole journey as a way to give practical advice, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna keep traveling when I can, although now that I'm back in the United States, and I'm working a full-time job, uh, it's gonna be less often. It might not be as often as I would like, but that's okay because I also like making these haphazard vlog type videos. And I'd love to do more deep dive explainer type videos like the one I did about Madrid Pride. 
So this channel is basically just going to be a playground for me. You can expect to see a lot of different types of videos on a lot of different topics. I have a lot of ideas up here. So here's to a new chapter in New York City. Here's to a new year. It's 2022 now and a new direction for Darby Ahar. Thank you so much for watching and as always, oh wait, do you guys want to see which apartment I chose? Yeah, 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 you want to see, you want to see. Okay, let's, let's check it out. All right, so this is the new place for an undetermined amount of time. Show you a little bit of it. But yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.